Hot and hazy on this Wednesday. Wildfire smoke and some clouds. That is not just smoke. We do have some clouds coming off thunderstorms that happened well to our south. They're just passing through. We'll be clearing out later tonight. Here's some Wildlife Wednesday photos to share with you. A nanny mountain goat enjoying uh, some bear grass, a delicacy in North Idaho. Mark Vogt shared this picture. I love this shot of a eagle. Doesn't it look nice and cool in the shade and the greens there? This is from Donnie Mott, and he found this bald eagle on the Clark Fork River. And finally, speaking of keeping cool on Twin Lakes, this moose enjoying the salad bar at the bottom of the lake. Uh, Jay Stotts uh, sharing this amazing photo. Love a moose picture. They're my very favorite. Here's a look at our temperature trend over the next seven days, and it is rather dramatic. 96 tomorrow, a little bit cooler than today, and then we drop all the way to 70 on Sunday. The rain kicks in uh, sometime late Thursday night, and then we warm up a little bit heading toward the beginning of next week. Here's what's going on. We have some monsoonal moisture coming up. That's what produced the thunderstorm activity down on the Camas Prairie late this afternoon and is being uh, brought our way thanks to this area of low pressure, which is drifting closer to the coast, area of high pressure creating that uh, clockwise rotation that's scooping up that monsoonal moisture from the south. We're going to bring more and more of that into the region starting a little more than 24 hours from now, a chance of thunderstorms coming overnight Thursday into Friday morning and we will keep the chance of at least rain showers going right on through the end of the weekend before things begin drying out. We do have a fire weather watch for late Thursday through Saturday because initially that moisture will create some thunderstorm activity that may or may not come along with any precipitation. That dry lightning sort of the last thing that we need right now. We have had some thunderstorm activity as I mentioned to our south earlier today. That has really tapered off to just rain showers, a little bit of thunderstorm activity over the Blue Mountains still. Uh, but you may have some sprinkles around Lewiston, Grangeville, and southern portions of the Palouse. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Chance of showers coming in Friday with possible thunderstorms as well. Thunderstorms possible on Saturday. That looks to be potentially the wettest day of that uh, three-day unsettled period. Sunday, rain showers and cool with a high of 70 and then drier weather moving in next week. Keith?